What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I got 541 custom tactics for you guys today with this Arsenal past and present and plus that little Allison. I know you guys be making fun of me because I have Allison on an Arsenal past and present, but he is probably the best goalie in the game next to Team of the Year Vandasar. So, you know, might as well use him. All right, I'm going to try to make this pretty quick. Got to go to work. So, 541 custom tactics. I will have some gameplay at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but this formation is really good to either A, park the bus. I don't condone parking the bus or being super defensive, but this is probably one of the best formations to defend, park the bus, whatever, however you want to look at it. Uh, very, very defensive formation. Very boring to play, but it does get the job done. Uh, this formation ideally counters every formation. It will counter a 4-3-2-1. It'll counter a this one, the one that I recently posted, which I really like and I might use for foot champs this weekend. I'm not going to lie to you. Counters a 4 triple 2. The only way you can really beat this formation is by playing like a 4 triple 2 with your right cam and your left cam as strikers. Or like stay forward. Or if you play like this one, 4 2 3 4, with both wingers on stay forward uh, and your cam on stay forward too. Ideally, that is the only way to break down this formation because it's so hard to beat. Or if you mirror match it, so if you play 5-4-1 against it, or if you use a 3-5-2, because 3-5-2 is just a really, really good formation to counter almost any other formation, right? But let's get into the tactics. So this formation right here, 5-4-1, custom tactics, balance, 37 width, 57 depth. Now, um, I do play on old gen, so I, I recommend keeping it as is for old gen. If you're on new gen, uh, you can up the depth to about 60. You can go 63 to be aggressive, but I recommend just staying around 60. Maybe drop it down to 57 if you want to be a little bit more conservative or, conservative, or if you've been getting like over the top through ball. But if not, I would stay around there. If you are on old gen, I would stay 57 to be very, very neutral. If you are getting over the top through ball, I would probably drop it to like 53-ish, 55, somewhere around there. And if you really want to be aggressive, then go to 60, but I don't recommend doing that. I just recommend staying around the 53 to 57 mark. Both old gen and new gen play balanced direct passing on both of them. Uh, with 47 width, that is it. It lets your right mid and left mid kind of cut inside whenever you are getting into your opponent's box. Players in the box 6, trying to get more bodies into the box since this is a defensive formation. Corners and free kicks 1 and 1. So, ideally how you want to play this formation, you do want to play 3 center backs if you possibly can. Or if not, put a right back that can play. Center back, kind of like a Kunde, somebody like that, a Rajo that has a right back position, and they can switch into a center back. Militao will be good too. Um, I you can get away with playing one left back and one winger here. That's what I do. So I play Sinchenko as a left wing back, and then I play Lacazette as a right wing back. The reason why Lacazette gets the job done there is because he's a high high work rated player. That's kind of what you need. Uh, so just make sure you. You try to put like a high high. If you put a winger here, put a high high so he can attack and can defend. And then you can make subs at halftime. Uh, same thing for the left back. Well, with left back, you can put high medium if you want. Just because they already have high defensive stats, they're going to drop deep anyways. Your center mids. Uh, you can get away with two box-to-box -box center mids. Or you can play one defensive center mid, one box-to-box -box center mid. So for me, I have... These should be switched around, honestly. Uh, I have Vieira and Ben Acer as center mids and then my right winger will usually be Odegaard left winger Henri and then a striker somebody that has a high high work rate play a uh, high high work rate somebody that's aggressive that can defend steal the ball can make runs all of the above for me that's Gabriel Jesus so I, I I rotate between him and Henri all the time so it just depends on how I'm feeling or who I'm playing up against but make sure you have somebody that's very aggressive that can uh, knock down the ball, like let's say you do like um, like you clear the ball from your defenders and you have your striker there, your striker can hit her down the ball to one of your center mids or your right mid, left mid, alright? Now last thing before I get into the instructions, uh, make sure that on your wingers, so your left mid and your left wing back and your right wing back and your, left and your right mid, uh, make sure that they are very good at dribbling. Because you will be dribbling and attacking through the wings as much as you possibly can. So make sure they're good at dribbling. Make sure they're good at passing. And if they have a high, high work rate, work rate even better. If not high, medium gets the job done too. But make sure they're very good with, with, your, with their feet on the ball, if that makes sense. Very good dribblers. 
instructions goalie comes across the sweeper keeper hit that like and hit that subscribe button for more of these videos by the way before i forget and if you stay tuned to the end i do have some gameplay um all three center backs are going to be stay back while attacking that is it right back is going to be stay back conservative overlap left back is stay back conservative overlap now when you do get in game when you do want to make this more attacking you will turn on the d-pad tactics the up arrow and i think it's the left arrow afterwards which makes uh your attacking fullbacks basically start attacking um and then you can turn them off and on while you're in game so you don't have to always switch formations if you don't need to so make sure you turn on up arrow and then left arrow for attacking fullbacks whenever you you need to score once you score like two goals then you could turn them off so then you press the same thing again up arrow then left arrow it'll turn them off and they'll just stay back while attacking and that helps you defend so you don't have to switch formations all the time you know you gotta think smarter uh conservative so they will move out of position you know that if you've been watching my videos you know that and then overlap so when they do run they do run around your right, right mid and left mid so they kind of force the right mid and left mid to cut inside <clears throat> excuse me i'm losing my voice i'm a little fool so you have two center mids you have a box-to-box -box center mid and a defensive center mid your defensive center mid is going to be stay back while attacking cover center that is it your box-to-box -box is going to be balance everything and cover center so he can actually join in on the attack do uh late runs into the box uh good for cutback stuff like that right mid and left mid are both going to be on comeback on defense again to box for cross that is it I would not put getting behind here because if you put, do put them on getting behind, they do run far away from your right wing back and your left wing back, and then that takes away all the support when you're trying to build up from the back. So I wouldn't do that unless you're really comfortable at doing over the top through balls and go ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. And then your striker is going to be stay central and get in behind. That is it. If you do need them to be a little bit more defensive, then you can't put comeback on defense since you don't have a camp. But for me, I like stay central getting behind because I could do the through balls. I can do over the top through balls, or if I need him to knock down the ball, I will just send him the ball and he'll knock it down. Buy me some time for my right mid and left mid to actually join in on the attack. And if I do need to make him defending, defensive, then while I'm in game, I'll turn on the down arrow and then the up arrow, uh, which makes striker drop back on defense, right? That is it. Those are the custom tactics for the 541. They're very good at defending, uh, very good at uh, closing out the game, stuff like that. Now, if you stay tuned, I will have some gameplay in 3, 2, 1. All right, guys, we're doing the 5, 4, 1 custom tactics and foot champs with the Arsenal past and present. Plus a cheeky little Allison in goal because he's better than Ramsdale. We need him to save something. <clears throat> so let's get into some games. I would normally play Elite Division, but I already won all eight games this week, and I don't feel like struggling against these sweaty tryhards over there all right nice team benzema up top that diego carlos i don't like Schweinsteiger center back van percy that's all right that's all right that's all right all right let's get into the game switch to the ultra attacking formation gonna give it a second oh this guy I think knows how to play. He did that whole standing switch. Oh. There we go. Oh, I tried to curl that one in because he moved his goalie. Alright, let's see. That's for you, check. Damn. Yikes. Alright, let's turn on attacking fullbacks. So up left. Boom. <clears throat> Thank you, Vera. Alright, let's see if we can get these quick one twos. There we go. Ah. What? How is that a goal kick? Alright, that's fine. All right, let's go to the wings again. All right. All right. All right, got it, Rivera. All right. This guy's pressing. Lacazette. 
All right, let's see. Check. That would go. Saw you. Let's go. That getting behind instruction is so crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now we can defend comfortably. He's playing me with a three at the back, too. I just don't know what formation. He's probably playing me a three, four, two, one. That wasn't supposed to be for him. That was supposed to be for check. There you go. Let's go, Sinchenko. Never mind. And now, Henri. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And no way through. Can he put there we go. That's it. I should have gone in the first shot. But, you know, you know this game. <clears throat> Alright, let's just settle the ball. I hate when they do stupid passes like that. Going well. As as we go. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Alright, let's go Saka. Henri. Never mind. Alright. Ah, this guy started pressing already. Thank you, Giroud. Quick one twos. Gabriel Jesus. There you go, Laka. That's all you. Ref. Where's the red card ref? Thank you. Yeah, he's playing me four three two one. I mean not four three two one. Uh three four two one. To intercept. All right, I can't score another one. And support available. Viera. There. Chance here. Ah. Uh, I saw him move his goalie and I shot near post. Let's see. There you go, Peter. Check. No. Okay. I got it. Alright, now we're just gonna calm it down. We that was close. William Saliba. Alexander Zinchenko. There we go on re. Boom. First touch to stop it. Shoot it. I was literally waiting for him to get into position. I think that's game. Four five five four one game. That is how you play. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.